About a month ago, we made this video. And as a result, this happened. Yeah, Elon Musk saw it, bitch. On top of that, I told you guys 50k likes and I 3D print myself and I'm a man of my word. Plus, I do truly feel that the world could use another me. So today, we're 3D printing me and if you want to see the 3D fun continue, let's get 30,000 likes on this video and I will 3D print a Tesla Roadster next. <gasps> and Elon, please, let's take our relationship to the next level. Hit me with the follow, big guy. Anyways, let's get the video started. All right, folks, after hours of work and trials and tribulations that I did not participate in, but part of the team did and figured out, it is now time to scan my face by taking a whole bunch of pictures and we can upload it into a program which is essentially gonna make like a 3D version of my face that can then go to the 3D printer behind us and print my face. So I don't know how this is all gonna turn out, but Jay's gonna just start taking a bunch of pictures of me like he's paparazzi and we're gonna see what happens. I have to stay perfectly still too, right? So no talking, no blinking, no busy. breathing. Be dead. Here goes nothing. Now, how do we take this and turn it into a 3D printed version of me? Basically, we take the photos, we imported them into a photogrammetry software, say that 10 times fast. Unfortunately, the mesh or shape that we created captured more background instead of just me. So we had to remove all the extra parts, which gave us zombie me. This still had too many extra shapes on the surface. So instead of cleaning this up, we used it to create a base template from which we could create a final sculpt. From this point, we started sculpting and tweaking the face to more accurately picked my stunning facial features and as you can see I went from zombie to bald alien so to make me look more human we started adding in some of the finer elements like hair and of course our final touch for Jay and now that we're finished with the model we import it into the 3d printing software and get it ready to bring Sean 2 into existence it's a working title I think something's wrong. What are you doing? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. I mean, well, we should figure this out. <laughs> All right, so the last thing you guys saw was uh, this being printed and then it, we had a little bit of an issue. And so we had to reprint the top part of my head separately. And now we're gonna try and attach them together to form one seamless head. I know this isn't ideal, but I really don't want to spend another three hours, or sorry, three days printing <laughs> my face again. Let's pop my head off. How's it look? <laughs> Just looks like a little disc. <laughs> okay, we gotta take off all these supports. Bam! That was pretty satisfying. Okay, so it'll be like so. Not bad! How's it look? It's good. Not bad? Okay, well maybe we'll, we'll take the rest of these supports off. Okay. Ooh, even see the hoop? The little hoop earring? Oh. Boom! Serious boogers right here. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. I'll, I'll be back shortly. All right, folks, we've removed my giant cylinder boogers out from my nose. And as you can see, how's it look? It doesn't look anything like it. What? I mean, my lips are bigger than that. Ugly. Way better look. Like Ow, what the hell? I think like overall, I mean, skin color is pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Especially in the winter. This is pretty <laughs> much exactly what I look like. I'm thinking we could paint it a little bit. It'll probably look better. But before we can do that, let's see what it actually looks like. I feel like I just got brain surgery done and attached my brain back. If you've ever watched Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Oh, that didn't. Uh, no, that didn't go well. Okay, it's far from perfect, but now you can see my hair. Does it, does it look better? Who has better hair? Him. He's got better hair? Yeah. He does have pretty nice hair. You know. <laughs> I feel like you're just gonna beat this up when I leave oh, it in the yeah. office. Oh, yeah. I wonder if this can work as a, uh, what do they call that? A voodoo doll. Ooh. Ow, what the? Next step is, well, it's a step for just me and you, the viewers. Jay, I'm gonna need you to, to leave. All right. I just gotta talk to the viewers. When I've surprised you in the, in the past, it was a good surprise, right? So maybe this is a good surprise. Well, you've already told me, so I'll figure it out. Told you what? You're planning something, I'll figure it out. No, I just need to film something and talk to the viewers. Okay, just, okay, okay. okay. 
See you, see you later, Jay. All right, folks, so obviously we printed out my head, which is pretty cool on its own, but trust me, I'm just getting started, okay? I gotta talk a little bit more quietly for this because yes, we did 3D print my head, but the real purpose for this is to use it to prank the guys. So basically, the editing bay consists of Jay and Brady, and you know, sometimes I come in the office, I hear them laughing a little too much. It makes me wonder, what are they doing when I'm not here? Are they even working? Are you guys even working? Get back to work, because I know you're editing this. But what I'm gonna be doing is installing this spy camera right in my eyeball right here hopefully they won't be able to see it and I'm gonna set this up looking directly at the editing bay I'm also gonna add a speaker potentially somewhere I don't know exactly where the speaker is gonna go so that I can talk from it and that way I'm gonna be able to watch them okay I'm gonna be able to watch you while you're working and make sure you're working okay even when I'm not here I'm now I'm watching you all the we're watching you all the time. Anyway, so that's what we gotta do. Basically, we do have to do brain surgery. I gotta cut a hole in the top of my head so that it meets here, insert this bad boy, and then uh, we're gonna use it to have some fun. That's, that's what I'm gonna say, all right? Preparing for our lobotomy. Look at the size of this camera. This, just this little, I don't even know if you can see it. This little dot, that's the camera that we're putting in. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. All right, we've hollowed out a good chunk of the inside here, and now I gotta drill a hole in my eye. This is gonna hurt me just as much as it hurts you, okay? Boom! <sighs> a little hole in my eye now. <laughs> it's time to set up our secret camera, folks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we've inserted our little mini camera into the top of my 3D printed head. We even added a little little black pupil here so that it looks like nothing, nothing crazy is going on. It's just eyeballs. So nobody will suspect anything other than an innocent little 3D me just staring at them. Maybe they'll still suspect. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is we've got it hooked up. As you can see, boom, it's looking at me. It's looking back at you. Well, not you, it's looking at the camera, but uh, I can watch the feed live from my phone so I can I can I'm watching you Jay that's just what I'm trying to say I'm trying to reinforce this so get back to work next thing we have to do is attach this to our mannequin dress up our mannequin make it look you know a little more like me and add a speaker so that when I talk Jay can actually hear me because you know I need to be able to survey him and then also let him know I'm watching same for Brady I'm watching both of you so get back to work Okay. Now that we've printed the head, we need a body. Fortunately, the store beside us had a few leftovers, so we got one for 60 bucks instead of 600. Unfortunately, let's just say it wasn't uh, standard sizing, so we had to make some tweaks and then, of course, dress it up. All right, guys, I've got my mannequin here. Just imagine, see, looks pretty legit, no? And uh, we put on some, of course, wish clothing, so the vibes are legit. And uh, now, look at that, come on, and well, we gotta glue this on and voila. Come on, twinning, am I right? I'm right, come on, that's pretty sweet. That's kind of creepy too, but it's mostly cool. Like 99% cool, 1%, probably like 20% creepy, but still. Very, very cool. So we're gonna glue this on, add the speaker, and we're pretty much ready to go for this little prank. Damn, yo, you're good looking. Has anyone ever told you that before? How are you, so you must get so many girls. For sure they have, you must get it all the time. You look like like Mark Wahlberg, Zac Efron, uh, Matt Damon, I don't know, Brad Pitt, George Clooney, one of those guys. I, maybe all of them combined into one extremely good looking dude. And the drip, the shoes, I like the hood up, little mysterious vibe, I bet you the ladies love you, eh? Yeah. I me too, I know. I, I mean, I have it. I got a girlfriend now. Back in the day, I did my thing though. But you, you must be just going crazy out there. You know what? I like you. You're good people. You should stick around, all right? I'll see you later. All right, folks, we are outside. Now I just gotta wait and hope they don't hear me. This is so jokes. <laughs> Brady came in. Brady's there. <laughs> the way he looked at the mannequin. That's right, Brady, yeah, get to work, baby. Where's Jay? Jay's always late. Oh, there's Jay. Got an iced coffee. <laughs> oh shit, they both noticed it right away. What is he wearing? Why is he wearing a trucker hat? Is he making fun of my mannequin? That's, that's not funny, Jay. Maybe, maybe they'll surprise me. Maybe they'll actually just work. It's possible. By the way, guys, I did set up a speaker so that I can actually talk to them from the mannequin as well. Why is he picking up a Nerf gun? He's shooting my mannequin. You think that's funny, eh, Jay? You see, he, he knows it's me, so he's shooting me. They're both shooting me. They're both shooting me. Ha <laughs> ha. That's really funny, guys. They're using my mannequin as target practice right now. Brady looks like he's trying to work. Jay just keeps staring at his Nerf gun. Why is Jay picking up the, the bug assault? Is he even, he's just messing around. I haven't seen a single thing being done. Oh my God. 
Yeah? What? Oh my god, that's so pretty. Shining it right in my eye. Oh my, they're having a nerf war. They've been in the office for like 30 minutes. They haven't done anything. That's it. Let's see how they react. Ready? This is God speaking. Get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he's there. What do you think you're doing? Get back to work. No more play, no more nerf guns. It's called the editing bay for a reason. He's turning the speaker off. They're, they don't care. Brady's just still loading his nerf gun. I'm watching you. I see you not working. You turning off the speaker doesn't change that. Jay is, what is Jay doing? No, no, you're not, no, no. Okay, I can't see, and uh, they can probably turn the speaker off at any moment now. I think I gave myself away with the speaker. I didn't really think this through, and I, like I just have, I just have this black screen right now. I mean, we did kind of shock them a little bit. I guess let's go see how they feel. You guys think this is a game? You think this is a game? Oh, they're working. What the hell? When did you start working? Since we came in. <laughs> no, you didn't. I was watching you. What are you? What are you talking about? They're actually editing now. So who did this? <laughs> Deface my man. I was watching you. You can't fool me. I saw you guys fooling around, having Nerf gun fights, defacing my mannequin, shooting stuff on the wall. I don't even know what you were doing half the time. You okay? I'm fine. Have you had coffee? I, I've had a lot of coffee, yes. Maybe that's why you think you're imagining things. You're saying I'm imagining things, that it didn't actually happen. Why are you even talking about it? All right. Just remember, I'll be watching you. Brady's your weak link. He's gonna crack. I can see it. He's gonna crack. You know he's gonna crack. Which one of you is gonna crack first? I'll pit you against each other. All right, you know what? This time, they might have beat me. But next time, I'm gonna come back better, stronger, and more stealth. I thought this was pretty stealth, but they figured it out quite quite quickly. But next time, they're not. I just don't know what next time is gonna be yet. Put your... They just don't even care. He's literally shooting me with the, even when I'm here, he just doesn't care. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's safe to say today's video was a success and a failure at the same time. But the main thing we were trying to accomplish, I'm trying to do an outro. Can you stop shooting me, please? Point is we did manage to 3D print myself. As you guys can see, this is me and slightly smaller me, actually with more pigmentation. Um, oh my God, that was right at my nose. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video off because they're taking liberties now and they're just actually playing more than they even normally would. But let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think of my 3D printed version of me. I think it came out pretty good. If you guys wanna see me paint this so it looks even better or try and do a full body print instead of just attaching it to a mannequin, be sure to smash the like button and let me know in the comment section down below what else we should be 3D printing in the next video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you and I will be watching you two next time. Toodles!